This is a Rubicon model, an early Pack 36. The first thing that surprises me for good is that the kit includes two barrels. Many doubts arise. The possibilities are many, especially with five artillerymen. I could build it on a large base diorama, or I could fit it in a smaller base, more bold action game-wise, or I could separate the miniatures into individual bases and use the pack without the base, which would work better on a wargaming table as you can fit it into small covers and mark the wounds by removing the gunners. And the secondary gun, cool, you could put it on a half track or try to assemble another one, another full pack with spare parts. All these doubts, <laughs> and I'm not even begun to wonder about the theater of war or division, <laughs> because this weapon was used through all the war. <laughs> but to avoid going crazy again, I decided to follow the recommendation on the box. A two color camouflage, green ochre and reflected green. So let's get it to work. You know, two or three thin coats until the color is solid. And I did sketch some lights on the edge before applying the Agrax Earthshade all over the surface. And now to recover the more saturated tone, I go back to the base color and dry brush it, and the result is very clean. So time to paint the green tones. But to achieve these random patterns, I think it's better to check some pictures or drawings and try to do something alike. Since I don't have an eyebrows, I'm using very thin down paint to try to create some gradient. Here, I use very dilute oil for washing. But you could also use acrylics without problem. Here we need to try to accentuate the shadows of the rivets and the screws. The thing is, my dog has a panda, but the panda is already dead, so I go on to give it a new life to it, but my dog doesn't approve. <laughs> First of all, I did some tests to see how the painting was behaving with the four. And for this I tried acrylics and oils. They both work perfectly, but I have a problem with oil paints. I don't know if it's the smell, but whenever I can, I use them. They are great. The idea is to apply small amounts of paint and then bruise the fur with the toothbrush. I 
have used different shades of greens and added some yellows and browns. You can also use some red, I think. Bruise it well and another color. The good thing is that adding almost no paint, the fur will not harden and will remain soft and... Gunners were painted with Phil Grau and Dunkel Grau and some skin color. Have fun! Another thing that I have been waiting to do for a long time are the foliage branches. I love those in tanks. These three branches on top. And it turns out that it's very easy to do. A bit of freight rope, PVA glue, and for this I have worked with Grass Green from Army Painter. Definitely, this is a technique I would like to master. Oh, almost done. In the base, save all the leftover material and, oh, of course, the other pack. super happy because what seemed to be like another boring pack it ended up being a fun project uh, like a mini diorama trying new techniques and the best thing is that my dog got a new panda well i hope you like it and this push you in the hobby and please feel free to subscribe Share it with your friends, it helps a lot, and thank you very much. Bye! I almost forgot the steel granate. Now it's finished.